in this match we have the opportunity to equal the goal scoring record of 17 goals in a single season by cristiano ronaldo all right so we have a chance to equal the goal scoring record in the champions league and it could not have been oh my god we're against courtois we're against bloody courtois i'm going to go down the middle because i am so nervous all right we are looking at episode 10 for this Honestly, I can't remember if we're on 10 or 9, but I think it's 10. The next match is the final group stage match of the Champions League. And it's quite scary because we are currently in 17th position and we're on 10 points, yeah? And the teams in from 24, 25 and 227 are all on 7 points. Which means that if I lose my match and every single one of them win their match, there's every possibility that I will not be going into the playoffs. So we've had a relatively bad start to the Champions League, but I really wish that we can rectify that. The two matches that I'm going to be playing in this episode are going to be the playoff matches that's probably going to be somewhere in the middle of February, somewhere around there, somewhere maybe 11th and 18th. But before we get there, we first have to get past this really really tough fixture because hirona i know hirona is going to like prove a a massive problem i'm not going to play the full match because i want to just play two full matches in the episode the transfers in this game are actually a lot a lot more wild but i watched a video about why it is the way it is so hopefully they can fix it eventually because it's, it's absolutely shit to be honest jumping right into the hirona match and we are completely balling in terms of our goal stats this season in all competitions i'm going to be enhancing the passing one obviously i really hope that we can get a win here or at the very least a draw because we're going to be on 11 points and we will be clear so a draw is what is needed but i would really really love a win so this is a very good start i just hope that the ball they give me is going to be very good nice okay maybe all right that's good went near post keeper did not to be honest, I didn't even know where I was going to go. I just like did something random there and well, it worked out. Next, we have a crossing opportunity. These never always go well. And this ball is looking like it's going to zoom out for the pitch. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right. So um, I hope the same thing doesn't happen here. Okay, Marlin is with the ball. So probably it's not going to happen. Shit, shit, shit. I'm offside. We have yet another crossing opportunity. We're in the 65th minutes. This is not very good. But let's see what Marlin can do. And what the hell is that? Come on. They have scored. All right. So this is the last opportunity and I have to score it. I have to score it. And I really hope that I do. Definitely. All right. There's no way that I'm going to be missing that. I really hope that Hirona doesn't come back. Okay. Um, This is really annoying. Sorry. I did not. I mean, I wanted to like turn it off, but I, I just keep on forgetting. Sorry. All right. So I really hope that that is the last goal. And yes, it is. We do win the match 2-1. And that is a good victory to get us to stamp our place in the playoffs of the Champions League. I have to say, I didn't really understand it at first, but this new Champions League um, format is actually kind of fun. It's new. It's exciting. It makes you, you know want to do a lot better in the new format and stuff next up we have um the match against mines in the bundesliga we already beat them in the last episode and i'm not going to play this one i'm going to i'm just going to simulate it it's also deadline day in the transfer window and i'm really really not interested in any of that now that we're in the new year let's actually look at the teams that are interested in us all right so we have arsenal there let's take a look at the rest there are five there's napoli there's spurs I forbid, there's Bayern, Man City, and Arsenal. All right, so we have cleared for Manchester City. We've cleared for Bayern. We've cleared for Spurs. We've, okay, so we can literally go anywhere that we want to go. But I, I'm probably going to stay in Dortmund for like two more seasons before I decide to move to a different club. So hopefully that works out. Hopefully I don't get injured and the manager decides to throw me away again. Because that is something that could happen. I absolutely own that page against Hirona FC. I'm unstoppable. Yes, we know you are, Conrad Dan Jr. But we are going to be simulating the 
results for this match hopefully we score we do we get a goal marlin and oz chan get the other goals for the team all right next up we have mind again but this time it's in the dfp poker we already won the dfp poker last season with um violet because so i'm not really pressed to win it this season it'll be nice if we win it but it's not really my priority my priority is the bundesliga and the champions league and speaking of the bundesliga i think bayern lost yet another match so we are now seven points ahead of them and that is actually a bit of a relief i really hope that we can actually keep this form going and not let them catch up by the end of the season and we do win the match again do we score though we don't score but we do win the match and we are through to the semi-finals of the dfb pokal that is rather interesting Dortmund is actually proving to be a really big team to be honest um I didn't score in the match. I'm going to go for the heartbeat. Share how strong the bond is. Blah, blah, blah. Thanks to all my Borussia Dortmund friends. Without them, the victory against FSV Mainz wouldn't be possible. Zan has been one of the top performers in each of the Borussia Dortmund's latest games. And he looks like a man to watch each time he steps out on the pitch. So we haven't... Uh, we didn't score in the last match. And that's the first time we haven't scored in the match in a while. All right, next up, we have Darmstadt. And we are going to be playing against Benfica in the playoffs. Let me look at this fixture real quick. Yeah, it's the playoff. So we're going to be going up against Benfica, um, Stuttgart versus Liverpool, Arsenal versus Verona, Lombardia versus Leverkusen, RB Salzburg versus Bayern. Oh, that's going to be a tough match for them. PSV versus AC Milan, Napoli versus Barcelona, then Man City versus Lille. Lille actually beat Real Madrid in the Champions League IRL, and that was complete. That I did not, I did not see that coming at all. But the teams that got knocked out are. Monaco, Sporting Lisbon, Anderlecht, Diego Kiev, Tra Trabzon Sport, Ajax, Celtic, Copenhagen, Slavia Praha, and Olympiacos. Right, that's that's pretty bad for them, but you know, all the best to them for next year. Right now, we have a match against a team on the table, and I'm going to be simulating it because I don't really feel I don't really feel like I should be threatened by this team. I mean, they're the ones that um, took away our 100 percent record. I know I'm saying that again, <laughs> but. I mean, I don't think that we should lose here. Do we score? No, we don't. So, okay, so this is the first time that we're not scoring in two matches in a row. And now we have the playoffs of the Champions League. This will take us... Oh, this is the round of 16. What? Am I dumb? I don't understand what is going on. All right, so there are 16 teams. So basically, the playoffs is the round of 16. And then we jump into the quarterfinals from there. All right, that is cool. So it's not, it's not like a called round of 16. It's not called playoffs. I think I actually prefer that, to be honest. But Benfica is a team that we really should be worried about. They're a good team. They have Rafa. I think he's still there. And that is like the main threat to this team, to be honest. So have a dribble success rate of at least 25%. I would go with that. Um, let's hope that I'm actually a lot better in dribbling right now. <laughs> but I always get that stats, though. But sometimes I just like really, really disappoint myself when it comes to dribbling. But... We'll be good let's see if we can win this match don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and well let's get into the match that started with a counter attack here can i get the ball okay we can't get the ball out to me sadly but let's hope that they do not score here they already had a shot on goal all right i really hope this is not how the whole match is going to go all right that is a good interception are they at me all right nice are we through we're not we are I don't even know what we are doing. Eesh. It wasn't, ex it wasn't exactly what I planned, but that is too bad. Nice from Conrad. Let's help Marlin out here. Okay. Brilliant. Okay, that is nice. Can I get a shot on goal here? I can't. And that is straight at the keeper's gloves. All right, so it's not looking like Rafa is still in this team, which is quite annoying. That's a good save from Kobo. I don't really think that it was going into the back of the net to be honest nice please give it to me give it to me oh my god why did you have to please score it all right that's our first goal why did he have to turn back before he passed the ball that makes no sense to me most times i really don't understand what all that is about so that is one nil in this match and let's just try to keep the lead probably even like capitalize on it and exactly what i'm looking for that is a really good pass turning brilliant can i score this yes i can and that is two nil already two nil already to benfica two goals for me we are absolutely lighting this bloody champions league up it's crazy i wasn't thinking i was going to get there before the defender but he did so well to roll it out of the defender's path and man that was yet another good finish from conrad zan jr good form good curve the keeper had no chance with that all right so we have a chance for a free kick and this is looking promising we've had a similar chance before but we just hit the bar 
to let him down. We actually get this in the bag. I think I put too much on that. And well, it was too close to the keeper. So, I mean, we're still yet to score a free kick. I hope that that is coming sooner or later because I'm going to be so happy once we do that. All right, they're looking really dangerous here, but let's try and make sure they do not shoot. Let's completely block out all of their paths. Their paths. All right, that is a good block. Let's just like play it out, please. Thank you. All right, that is nice. We're actually getting really, really good at this uh, header thing. All right, nice to give it to Adeyemi. Can he get it to me? Can I get a hat trick in the Champions League? Probably. And the keeper makes a save. No, it goes out. Oh, shit. That was really, really close. That was a really good um, move by the team yet again. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. I swear to God, I thought that went in. I thought that went in, but... So, um, oh, okay. So we're coming up. The coach has decided to rest our legs for the second leg of the of this fixture. And we got a 10.0 match rating, though. That is really cool. But well, let's see if we do end up winning the match. 4-1 is crazy. Brandt and Malin get the other goals for the team. And Pavli Pavlidis scores for Benfica. All right, so that was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. And with that big a win, I probably would um, just simulate... Or just um, play the highlights of the second leg, to be honest. Well, Conrad Zan is already proving to be the GOAT at just 18 years of age. He already has 27 goals in just 21 appearances in the in the Bundesliga. That is 11 goals ahead of Kane and Pedro Gonçalves, who are the joint second top scorers. And then overall, I was saying he's going to reach 60 this season, right? He's already on 48. Alright, so I will still have like a couple more matches to play this episode and I can bet that I'm going to score more than 3 goals in the next coming matches. And man, that is just incredible though. 15 in the Champions League is crazy. Wait, what is the Champions League record? Is it 19? You know, I'm going to check this out in a bit. Alright, next up we have the match against Schalke. I think they are currently... 16th and i'm really really focusing on the champions league this episode so i'm not really going to be playing a lot of the bundesliga matches even though i believe that we should be winning this i really hope that we do win it Schalke is not a pushover we don't win it actually and we don't score all right so that is a draw so how exactly does that hurt us in the bundesliga it doesn't hurt us that much we are still um okay we're now eight points so Bayern has actually lost yet oh my god Bayern is all the way down in <laughs> okay, they haven't played that much. Alright, I was scared for a bit. Alright, so if they win, they're going to be on 42. So they are still 7 points. Okay, so it means that they actually also drew a match. That is good for us. So, I mean, we're still good. We have, like, a little bit of room to breathe. We don't have to win every single match from now on. I mean, we just need to win the matches that we absolutely need to win. I don't know if you get me. But anyways, we have the second leg against Benfica in a couple days. I'm going to be playing the highlights because we absolutely demolished them in the first leg. 4-1 is crazy, to be honest. I don't think Dortmund won the Champions League in the last season, like in-game. So I hope that we can actually get another win with Dortmund. I mean, we're still yet to play the really, really big games against the really, really big teams. But I really, really hope that those games are not going to be as bad as I'm envisioning it in my head. So, I mean, let's get into it and hope that we actually do get a win this match. This is going to be fun. We're relaxed because we already have like a 3-0 lead. It could go at any minute. It could go. But, I mean, we just need to make sure that it doesn't. And we need to make sure that we just have fun in this match. Basically. Which is most likely not going to happen because we're talking about um, EA here. I mean, they're probably going to, to frustrate my life in this match. But I really, really hope that is not the case. Um, complete one pass, obviously. And let's see what we can do in this match. All right, so first thing is a counter attack. We have the back line intact. So I don't really know how the hell this is a counter attack. But I think, I mean, I, I don't know why they have to turn before they pass the freaking ball. And now we have a counter attack and they are probably not going to get this to me in time. All right, so that is good-ish. We get the ball. Can we score this? Yes, we can. We should. Oh my God, we did it. We didn't score it. I mean, I'm not going to be hard on him because it was his weaker foot. But I mean, that is still crazy that we didn't score that. I should have gone near post. I never always think to go near post for some reason. All right, get this to Adeyemi. And Adeyemi, come on. Nice. Okay. Oh, my God. How did they even read that all the damn time? All right, so they're leading 1-0. I always call for the ball when they're um, in a good position to pass. But they always take like 1 million years before they actually pass the ball. And um, we tried the power shot, they blocked it. I mean, they always block those every single bloody time. Right, we have, right now, we have a chance to equalize. And I really hope that is the case. This guy might probably actually catch up to us. 
But yeah, he is definitely. Trivella, definitely. And that is 5 2 on aggregate, 1 1 in the match. And that is a really good goal from Konrad Zahn. All right, so we end up the match 2 1. They beat us, but we are through on aggregate to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. That is a very, very big deal. And we got every single one of our objectives. We got a 10.0 in the last match. I forgot to allocate the skill points, but I am going to do that pretty soon. I also should have checked who who won what all right so byron actually did lose that match so they are all the way back down in fifth that is not very good for them but um all right so mines and leipzig have played a match already so we just need to make sure that we push further then as for the champions league these teams haven't played yet oh wait this is the round of 16 oh so the playoffs oh the play is like 16 oh that makes sense then there's still the round of 16 after the playoffs all right that that completely makes sense but we have who Real Madrid, oh my god, we have Real Madrid in the bloody Champions League court round of 16. Bro, that is crazy. The match is in. All right, so I'm going to play this match to end the episode. And I'm going to hope that we actually can win it at home because the away fixture is going to be bloody, to be honest. We're doing relatively well in the simulations because I'm, I'm beginning to trust the fact that this Dortmund team has what it takes. Why is Emery Chan playing freaking defense though? I'm completely comfortable with them in the Sims as of now. That is why I'm, I'm actually simulating the matches a lot. So we win against um, Augsburg 2-1. We do score in that match. Finally, we are scoring in the Sims. Next up, we're going up against VFP Stuttgart. I'm going to be playing the highlights for this match before I go into the match against Real Madrid. Okay, can you go? Power shot, maybe? Oh, God. I don't know why he didn't take that one time. I expect him to take it one time because they usually do. I mean, if I didn't do a power shot there, I probably would have scored. But, oh, well. Let's see if we can please play out once. All right, that is brilliant. Brilliant. Can I cut inside? Maybe. And that is a really good save from the keeper. I should have done a finesse or something. But sadly, we're not scoring there. We have another cross opportunity. And DME is probably going to fuck this up. I really hope that he does it, though. He does it, actually. And the header is not good enough. I should have done something acrobatic there. But I really. All right, so we have a penalty. And we lost, we missed our last penalty, or rather the keeper saved our last penalty. But we're going straight down the middle here again. Hopefully the keeper doesn't, oh yeah, he doesn't dive. All right, he does dive, which is exactly what I needed. That is a good thing. All right, so it's 1-1. One, one. We have a counter attack. And I really, really, really hope that we do win this. All right, so we are in on goal here. I just need to get on my bike ASAP. Please score it, please. Conrad, all right, thank you. All right, so we do score that match and that is another 10 point match rating i forgot again <laughs> oh my god my memory is so shit i'm so sorry about that i forgot again but it looks like we have another 10 points in this match and i really really like that so we have two skill points to allocate we scored two goals in the chat in this again so i mean our goals are our goal tally is climbing and climbing and this is just our second season it's actually really really insane do we get a 10 point because it actually does drop oh yeah we do get a 10 point so you know what it's in my mind right now i am going to work on the skill points player growth all right so we have two um allocations my heading accuracy, I need to work on that, so that is one. And then my passing, I don't really care about my passing, I'm a bloody striker. My dribbling, I want to work on that. Or my attacking position is already really, really good. I think I might go for for being like a five-star skiller. I like skilling, to be honest, but it's not really a priority for me. But um, stamina looks like it's something that I might want to work on as well. Stamina and jumping. All right, so I'm going to work with stamina. So that goes up to 92. But right now, we have the match against Real Madrid. It's going to be really tough. Share a thing or two about the boss. Okay, so the boss got manager of the mob, right? All right, that's good. So I'm going to go for a hard beat on this. And now we have the match against Real Madrid. This is crazy. But let's look at how many goals we have scored in the Champions League. We have 16. How many goals is the Champions League goal scoring record? I think it's 19. And the fact that we are still in the um, round of 16 right now is giving me a lot of hope. So we just need to make sure that we actually go like further than here. So we have to defeat Real Madrid no matter what. Cristiano Ronaldo holds the record for the most goals in a single UCL season, having scored 17 times in the 2013-2014 campaign. And you know what's crazy? We have 16 freaking goals. That is crazy. So um, we need to score 
in this match if we don't go out in the quarter in the round of 16 rather then we are probably most definitely going to beat it win it that is if we can even score against real madrid which is going to be a task in itself this match against real madrid is going to be the decider on if i can equal or surpass the champions league goal scoring record that is crazy i'm actually kind of surprised that they are not saying anything about that in the news all right this match is not really the decider or anything but in this match we have the opportunity to equal the goal scoring record of 17 goals in a single season by cristiano ronaldo so i need at least one goal to match the record in this match and i really hope that comes in our later i do not know what the hell Malin did there but that was a really good chance to get me in behind or i forgot that this team is absolutely loaded they have rodrigo mbappe vinicius and bellingham but the thing is that these players are so good and like they're really expensive so they are most likely not going to get bought from from the real madrid team anytime soon but man that is going to be absolutely crazy like try to defeat this team nice all right get spot Malin, please score it thank you oh my god that was not what i was expecting the one time please oh my god that is crazy what the hell happened there what the hell happened there oh my god they're wait what this is a new scene they're fighting and oh my god this is oh, it's it. oh that is the foul i thought it was against me because man i almost booted somebody's bloody head off there <laughs> all right so we have a chance to equal the goal scoring record in the champions league and it could not have been oh my god we're against courtois we're against bloody courtois i'm going to go down the middle because i am so nervous but i can't think oh my fucking god <laughs> oh my fucking god i can't believe i <laughs> that was such a bad penalty man oh god, i wish that i could take that penalty back and play it again though boy sadly i can't that is that was a good shot from mbappe we're actually doing so bad though please oh my god i needed that pass to be spot on come on that was literally the best opportunity to go in behind them we caught them so off guard and bro just missed the freaking i swear to god he had that but he just gave up on the oh my god it's not looking like we're going to score this much <laughs> as of now but i mean we've had some first half howlers a lot and then we come back really really strong in the, in the second half but the good thing is that they haven't scored and how the fuck is gabriel and saliba in real madrid what they just stole arsenal's defense bro that is crazy that they're together in real madrid that is absolutely mental dude. all right second half has started and at 5.2 we are at a real risk of getting subbed out so i really hope that um that is not going to be the case though because i really need my my um 17 goals in the champions league at least even, even though we can't beat it today i just need to like make sure that we can come back to fight another day oh no combo oh my god no 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 oh my god that is so close bro that is so close that was so scary nice all right can we come on Malin? come on please all right we are in a good chance to score here and courtois is just a bloody beast like come on what could i have done there i mean i could have gone near post or something but i just thought that he had that covered bruh here we have a chance score please why on earth why on earth who in their right mind i mean who in their right mind in this situation heads the ball what the hell and the crazy thing here is that i was holding um lt l2 so why the hell would he head the ball that is just annoying nice pass all right so we are on a counter again nice Allen, really happy score this time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right. I mean, it's not looking like today is going to be our day. Really not looking like today is going to be our day there. But I mean, we are... We are fighting. I knew we were going to do like a lot better in the second half. But I really, really want us to get a goal at least. We don't even have to win the match. Please, come on. Um, FIFA gods, FC24 gods. Ah, oh, shit. What, why on earth would you even pass that to me? 
All right, back to me. Thank you. Oh my God. And now we just have to get past Gabriel. Nice. Oh shit. What the fuck is that torch? Oh my God. All right. Nice. 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 Should I support you? Come on. Okay, brilliant. We're being hella stingy here. Can we get a goal? No, we can't. Against blocked by Saliba. Well, we have six minutes to get a goal. And we also have six minutes to make sure they do not get a goal. And that is really good defending. All right, keeper just gets it out. Keeper. Oh my god. These guys are trying to give me a bloody stroke. No, don't let him score. Don't let him score. Oh my god. All right, all right, all right, all right. Get, someone gets it out. Please. Please, someone gets out. Oh my god. Alright, we have a good chance here. Marlin. Thank you. We still keep this. This is our last chance. This is our last chance. Oh god. <laughs> We're so close there. We tried to go near post, but Courtois obviously got that covered. Alright, 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 alright. Miracle. What the fuck is that? We end up a goalless draw in this match. It was a really good game, not going to lie. I really needed to score, but we didn't. I mean, it's okay. We'll come back another day. Next episode, we probably will win it. Or rather, next episode, we probably will um, get the 17th goal, even though we might go out of the Champions League because Real Madrid is not going to be playing in their home stadium. Oh, God. It wasn't the best of matches, to be honest, but. I mean, we still, we still have had a really good episode though, but this is the end. You are player of the month. Of course I am. So we are at 51 goals to end the episode and it's looking like we might actually break 60 legit. I don't know about 70 though, but if we do get 70, I think that is Messi's record for most goals in a season. So um, we might be breaking two records in this season. I really hope that we actually do get the Ronaldo one. And in order to do that, in, or, in order to make sure we do that, we have to defeat Real Madrid in the next match. That is going to be next episode, so you guys should definitely stay tuned for that. And thank you for watching. This is the end of the episode. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified of when I drop new videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.